Hey, it's Stargirl. Welcome to another Pick a Card reading. This one is a message from your spirit guides. Find out what you need to hear right now. So as usual, I need you to pick one of the four cards. Group one, group two, group three, group four. Once you've picked one of the four groups, you can fast forward to the timestamp I provide down below to see what your spirit guides want to say to you right now. Group one. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Swords, Opportunity, Allow Love, Cell Phone, and Physical Outlet. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is you might be too focused on appearances right now. You might be too focused on your social media. You might be too focused about your looks at the moment. And this might be a way to actually keep people at a distance. So instead of actually allowing loving relationships in your life, whether it be love or family relationships, I see that you're maybe being a little cold and keeping people at a distance and keeping things very shallow and appearance based because you want to protect your heart. I'm also seeing that your communication skills have been pretty poor lately. So maybe you spend too much time on your cell phone, you're not connecting with your real friends or family, or you, maybe you hide behind the image of your social media or the image on the screen to really distract yourself from any real connections. And I see it comes from a place of fear. I'm also seeing that maybe um, you're letting people in your life who don't really appreciate you for who you truly are. They only see you for the way you look and the fake mask that you wear. And I'm seeing that the, maybe, maybe you spend too much energy on this, maybe you spend too much energy on this frivolous, um, these shallow relationships, these shallow social media things. So I'm almost seeing that your spirit guides are saying you need to get out there and actually live your life. Maybe stop hiding behind your cell phone, start actually doing things, stop caring about social media, the way you look, and all of that stuff. Just go out there and live your life um, with people who really care about you. And I'm also seeing that maybe you feel stuck in life and that might be why you're using social media as a distraction. Maybe you're using, you know, focusing on shallow things as a distraction because you feel stuck. But what you're actually doing is you're making yourself more stuck because you're missing out on a bunch of opportunity. And what I'm getting is your angels are telling me that you have a lot of opportunity ahead of you. That's what the Page of Pentacles represents. You, you have a lot of potential, but you can't just sit daydream about it. You actually have to go and do it to accept that opportunity. And a lot of it is, you know, going out there and um, making real connections with real people. So the message from your spirit guides i think is just you know maybe spend less time on the shallow on the internet on your phone and um cultivate your real relationships and go out there and exercise really live your life right now you're just sort of bound to this lifestyle and it's time to get out all right let's move on group number two let's see what your spirit guides want to tell you right now so i got judgment the chariot big happy changes okay airplane authority and divine purpose all right so i'm seeing that your spirit guides are saying you have a choice in life right now you're at a cross crossroads and you're not sure which way to take and you are maybe indecisive about which way to take or you're scared of change, but the chariot is encouraging you to move forward with the decision. Now is the time to do it. You have a choice, make the choice, make the choice that you intuitively know is correct and move forward. It is time to move forward and stop thinking about it. Your angels even say big happy changes right here. So this isn't a bad change. It's a good change. It's a positive change. Ooh, this, this angel card's really reflecting some light. So big, happy changes. Don't be paralyzed in thinking about it. Just do it. 
And we get the same action card with airplanes. Spread your wings and fly. Make a decision and go with it. Don't question yourself. Choose one. The one that you think about and you intuitively know is the right decision, choose that one and take action because this is a part of your divine purpose. This is a part of your higher purpose, okay? So don't be worried about the decision you're going to make. And you know what? This choice was came from heaven. This came from a higher authority. So this is part of your divine plan and your angels put this choice into your life for a reason so don't be scared go ahead and make the change it will lead to success big happy changes i'm also seeing that this could possibly mean sorry if i get multiple messages this is a general reading maybe there's someone very controlling in your life right now and they're saying that they want to be an authority over your life and they're very controlling and they want it their way, but I'm almost seeing you need to make your own path by airplane. You need to make your own path and figure out what you want to do and make your own way. And yes, it'll be scary, but these will this will be a big happy change for you. And it is your divine purpose. It is your divine path. Okay? So let's move on. Group number three, what do your angels want to say to you right now? So I got the Six of Swords, the Ten of Wands, Bridge, Peaceful Resolution, You Already Know, and Send Love. Okay, so what I'm seeing by this is maybe you've been weighed down by a lot of problems right now, and I'm almost feeling like it is um, a lot of problems and disputes with a loved one. And I think you sort of already know that it's time for you to turn your back and walk away from this person, but you really don't want to because you care about them. But with the Six of Swords, I'm, saying, I'm seeing that your angels are saying it's time to make that travel away from stress because at a certain point, there's nothing more you can do and you already know that. So what you need to do is really create distance from them. That's what I'm getting from Bridge. Like, there's a distance, but also stay strong and remain connected to what is important to you. So even though you need to put a distance, it doesn't mean you need to cut them out forever. It just means you need to cut them out for now. And I'm also seeing that um, you feel, you've been taken for granted by people with the Ten of Wands. Maybe this person has been taking you for granted. Maybe this person has been leaving you to do all the work in the relationship and you sort any sort of relationship and you already know it's time for you to put that distance. And even though there needs to be that, you can still love them from far away. Sometimes the best thing we can do is love someone from far away and not be in that toxic situation anymore. But your angels are saying, don't worry, because there will be a peaceful resolution. It's not going to be the end of it. Just because you have to walk away right now doesn't mean it's over forever. Just because you need to walk away from a situation in life that's stressful, a person in life that's stressful, you already know it's time to walk away. And ultimately, this will lead to a peaceful resolution. So don't fret. All right? Group number four, let's see what your spirit guides want to say to you right now. So we have the Knight of Cups. We have the Six of Cups. Listen to your intuition. Believe in yourself. Elevator. And self-care. All right, so maybe what I'm seeing right now is you help everyone, but you do not help yourself very much. So you're one of the kind, your angels are saying you're one of the kindest people that they've ever seen, but you don't give enough self-care for yourself. And so because of that, you stay stagnant because you're busy taking care of those around you and you're busy taking care of those you care for. But your angels are saying practice self-care, take care of yourself because if you, how can you take care of other people if you don't take care of yourself? I'm almost seeing that um, this might stem from a bad childhood or like something that happened in your life and because you went through a lot now you feel the need to take care of other people and maybe neglect yourself 
and your angels are saying you need to believe in yourself. Don't hide behind other people and other people's needs. Focus on your needs and what will advance you in life right now. And um, with the Knight of Cups, this is an action card. This is a moving away card. So I see that it's time to move away from your past or people that are, um, that, the people who are not no longer serving your best interest and you'll know intuitively who they are because your angels are saying listen to your intuition it's time to move on from some toxic people it's time to move on from people who are not bettering you stop being codependent on people and even if that means helping them you need to sort of be by yourself and take care of yourself and believe in yourself and rise above the situation you are not a product of your past don't let yourself be one that's what i'm getting from your angels just because you know, something that happened to you back in the past doesn't mean you shouldn't believe in yourself, doesn't mean you shouldn't care about yourself. It's time to move on from that dysfunction and evolve and turn away from it, okay? Um, I'm also seeing that maybe you might have some pain going on right now and because of that, you don't believe in yourself and you don't take care of yourself but the angels are saying that um, from this pain can come creativity or it can um, create an experience that someone else can relate to and help someone else. So there is that as well. All right, that is it for a message from your spirit guides. I hope that this helped you all and I will see you guys later. Bye.